So even though it's 3.22 in the afternoon, let's pretend it's evening. You're getting ready to go to bed. You've got your hallway lights on, running. Got my living room lamp on and my lower hallway light on. But we're ready to go to bed and you don't want to turn everything off by hand or you just want to use one command. Hey Google, good night. Okay, turning seven lights off. There you go. Turned off my hallway lights and it shut down any of the other lights that would be on if I had other ones on as well. How did we do that? Let me show you. So as you saw in the little uh, demo that I just did at the beginning of this video, um, one of the features that we have been waiting on ever since the release of the concept video or the first look video at what uh, Google Home would be able to do as an assistant has finally come true. We can now say the OK, you know what, hot word, and have everything in the house shut down if need be. So to set that up, it is using your Google Assistant. You'll want to make sure you are up to date on your assistant. I'm going to my applications here. So we can see my Google application was updated nine hours ago. I am on the beta testing, so I might be getting some of this before it is available for the masses, but mostly this is, should have been pushed out to everybody by now. And you want to make sure you're on version 7.2.25.21, blah, 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 ARM64. Um, what we will do, just to show this off again, just for you all to see how to do this, is you want to set up, these are kind of actions now. These are um, commands that you can give your either your Google Home or your assistant and so far I've seen that it works pretty well on the home so keep that in mind um, I'm not sure exactly how to phrase it to get the assistant to do it properly but I've been using the home for it and it seems to work because that's gonna be your hub anyway for when you're doing stuff but uh, let me take this off since since I'm off of work now I'm so used to having that bumper on for work um, since you're home to set this all up, you want to push and hold your home button, bring up your assistant, which she is going to start reading everything I am saying. But as you can see, I am updated, so we have the new icon for getting into your menus, and you can also type everything out if you don't want people to be hearing you talk to your assistant when you're out and about. So, go into our menu. And now we hit explore, so this, it recognizes me. It's tied to my Gmail. And here are things you can do. These are, this is kind of a, for people that haven't used the system that much, or if you never even accessed yours, whether you have a Samsung device, you push and hold that physical home button, or your virtual home button if you're running the new S8, or if you are on an Android phone that has on-screen buttons such as mine, you can scroll through. This will tell you everything, all the things you can do with your assistant even home control, home automation. And then there is the tab that says your stuff. You can go into that and that will tell you about alerts, things that you've set up, your reminders, uh, things that I got going on tonight, my shopping list, if I want to add things to it. And here is shortcuts. These are kind of your actions. These are what you will be telling it. Hey, if I tell you this, you're going to do this. So in a way this replaces IFTTT. You won't have a need for that. So we'll hit see all. And the one command I have set up right now is when I say good night, it'll turn off all the lights that I have in the house, which is that's the reason why it said turning off seven lights when I only had three, four lights running out of the seven. And then here's other popular shortcuts that you can do as well. And you can alternate these to whatever method you need. And like it says here, available on home and assist and Android running 6.0 and above. I don't think that says, yeah, 6.0 phones. 6.0 and above on phones. And then we can hit the plus button if we want to add something new. So you'd start on an empty box when I say, okay, you know what, workout time, and then that phrase will then turn the assistant to say, okay, play workout music on Google Play Music or whatever, um, whatever API or uh, application they can tie into. So that is basically how you'd set this up. It'll take some getting used to. Like you can see, there are things on here like turn up the TV. It'll ask Harmony to increase the volume if you have a Harmony setup. 
for me, I have the good night one going because of all the lights in the house. And then if I want to start watching a certain show on Netflix on the TV, it would turn on the Chromecast and do that. So those are popular ones. And you have to go into these and turn them on to allow them. And you can turn them off if you don't want them running. So I'll turn mine on, leave that going. And that is how you get into your shortcuts, or I like to call them actions. On your three button icon, three button overflow, we have my activity, Google activity controls, help, and send feedback if you have issues. And then if we go back here, we have our th action, three button overflow action, as well as says account settings, my activity, and s send feedback. So, and if we hit on account, which I'm not going to do because I don't need everybody knowing my personal account on here. If I had a work account or something else set up, that's fine. These actions are tied to just your account. So if my wife does try to come downstairs and say, the okay, you know what, turn on, or good night, it won't do anything because it's recognizing her voice and her voice is tied to her account now. So I can't have people coming in and just shouting these things out and causing things to not work properly or to do whatever it wants. That kind of relates to, if you all remember, the Burger King commercial where if you had your TV playing loud enough and Burger King came on with that one commercial and told you to uh, tell Google to find out what a Whopper is made out of, and it would do that. If you all haven't heard about that, look it up. It's pretty funny. But yeah, that action had been removed from Google, and I think that's one of the reasons why Google went on ahead and pushed out the shortcuts and the multi-user accounts to the Google Home so quickly is because they know people are really, really wanting this to be a thing to where we can use our voices with our accounts to control different things throughout our house. So now that that's up, I am happy for that. I'm glad to have it. It works as you saw in the demo. If you guys figure out how to get it to work on the phone better than I have, hit me up in the comments below. This is Arv Mike. I hope you all have a great evening. I will see you all in the next video.